What's up guys, you Dreams are here today. We're back again in this match we're gonna be playing some Opa Dami to that. There we go. We're gonna be playing some Baptiste in the jungle and we'll see how this works out. So know that with the new 1B update, you could pick your in-game names, stuff like that, but I'm not gonna be doing that because a bunch of people went fake and using other content creators' names. So if I do make my new dreams this year, then there will be other fakes, and then you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Like I know people have already messaged me saying that they've gone against me, stuff like that. They're like, how did you do so bad? Things like that. But yeah, none of those are me. I thought I'd just stick with random names since you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between me or a fake. So yeah, if you do see your dreams this year, it's definitely not me. I guess nobody wants to see people. If it's just me, I guess I'll take it then. Okay, I guess it's mine. Nobody else wants it. Oh, come on. It's been less than a minute. How did he already die? Yeah, I have no idea what Koshka's up to. Yeah, we have an interesting team comp. I don't know why we have an Amal in mid. That's a weird pick, but it is what it is. Let's see, I can try and gank bot lane after this. We'll see if we can get this cane. I don't want to show muscle feet, I'm gonna... Because if I just run out there, he's just gonna be away and I can't even ordain him. See if we can catch him off guard. Oh, can Ringo clear that cam? No, clear the cam. Okay. Let's see. No, it looks like he knows I'm here. He's playing super safe now. Yeah, I think he does. I could just shove out this wave underneath this turret. And then we could try and like dive him afterwards or something like that. I'm going to wait for him to use his B ability before I go on to him. Oh, actually, Miho's here. We shouldn't do this. Let's not. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good at the cane, though. He didn't just waste his B ability. A lot of people will just use their B ability to get ammo back, stuff like that. But once you do that, you leave yourself with no escape. So then he was, like, free to dive. Okay, Fringo just wants to back up. I guess we can. We made him miss a good amount of farm. Oh, wait. Actually, Koshka's down here. They don't know Koshka's here because we have a cam inside of the bush. Nice, okay. We can still win this, I have my own flask. Let's see if we can bait him. If he uses A onto me, I'll just flask. No, nah, he's not gonna go for it. So that's what's important to like, go right onto the cane, because if you like approach from a distance and they see you, they'll just be away and you won't even be able to land your ordain. But if you can land your ordain right away, then that's fine. Okay, I have no idea what this guy's doing in mid. Oh, he lived. Nice. Well, I guess I'm still taking the CP buff because Hamo wasn't even CP. See, so the build that me going for is just Storm Crown Pulse Wave. Now, it seems a little bit weird because it's just like full on utility build, but it does so much damage. Utility Baptiste is just such a good hero. Let's see if we can get some damage on this guy. Maybe force a flask. Okay, yeah, we were. Now, that's good enough, I guess. I could buy boots next to my shop, so I'll be good. And help him push this in. Okay, I can go and get my jungle now. Oh, looks like he's getting that. Yeah, like, look at how much damage my um, A ability did. Even though I have no damage items, it still does so much. If you play around your perk and your empowerment, it does a nice amount of damage. So again, I want him to use his B ability, but he's not using it. And I don't have any more cams or anything. 
Yeah, I don't think... I don't think he's going to use it. It's like, it's just hard to gank him whenever he has his B. He could just easily just escape. I can go and get my Storm Crown now. That'll give me a nice amount of burst. Oh, where is he? Oh, actually, is he going for this healer? No, he isn't, so he must have recalled. Okay. I can try and catch him back when he's rotating back to lane. We'll see if we can get him here. He's gonna be coming from here, because he just recalled. Oh, get him. Ringo. Nice, okay. Yeah, that's kind of toxic. Like, there's nothing he could do there. He probably used his B ability to get back to lane, so he didn't have anything to escape with. Either way, he would have been dead, because I just pushed him right into Ringo. Ooh, Magnus is here. We'll be fine. I don't think he could do much. Ooh, so is Cap. Okay, Ringo's just backing up, so that's fine. But yeah, look at how, even though I have no damage items, if as long as you play around your Storm Crown proc, you'll be fine. I might be able to kill this Captain. Oh, never mind, the Sword Flask. Oh, can I get him? No, oh, never mind. That's not worth dying for. I didn't want to die. It's just a cat. Let's see if this Magnus rotates back to mid. No, I don't think they are. Okay, that's fine. I think they must have recalled or something. Oh, that one's got to watch out. Ozo wins that for sure. I don't know why Gwen's still there. Oh, I'm going to have to save him. Holy crap, we just saved that Gwen so hard with me and the Koshka. That Gwen was so far overextended. Yeah, I don't even know why Gwen's extended that far against an Ozo too. Like, Gwen doesn't even do too well against tanks. Especially into an Ozo. Ozo wins that pretty easily. But yeah, I might actually throw in a Shiver Steel into this build. You can if you want. Shiver Steel is a pretty nice item. Why is this going to take my Gold Oak now? What? So yeah, Storm Crown, Pulse Wave, and then you can go tank. And you can throw in a Shiver Steel if you want. It's pretty nice. Has good damage. You have a lot of tank. And I like to use Baptiste for um, crowd control mostly. Stuns, all that stuff. So that's why I'm not building damage. But you can build damage if you want, really. See if we can catch him out this way. Where are they? Oh, he went back. We should be able to get him. I have my boots and everything up, so I'm good. Yeah, that's just easy cleanup right there. Once you can get onto him like that. There's, they really can't escape from your stunt, from your ordain and your ult. Oh, can I get this? Nice, I got it. Oh, can I kill this Magnus? I stole my block. Nice. I have my own flask too, so this cat can't even kill me. That's going to make Magnus miss a lot of farm. That way it was shoved underneath the turret. Hero okay, I don't know why our aim was trying to dive a cap. It's alright. Yeah, I just really like Baptiste because of all the CC and stuff. If you train, if you pair it with other um, uh, teammates that have like high CC, like Koshka, things like that, it can be super toxic. Oh, they're gonna get this turret here. Oh, never mind, they just backed off. Yeah, I don't think they can get it with me here. I can force them off. I have my ult too if they do try and go back for it. You can always just push the minions out of turret range. It's 
see if these... Oh, they want to go for the turret? That's fine. Oh, never mind. We can even get that push and reach turret. Dang. I want to see if those Ozo's ulting. I wonder if I could ordain him, like, in the middle of his ult and then stun him out of it. That's how I'm holding my beat. I don't know if it's possible, but he might be able to. We'll see if we could do it. Is he gonna ult? Oh, he's caught out here. We can we can get him. Wait, he went the other way. He just juked all of us. Yo, what a god. Okay, I run. I'm gonna try and turn on this Magnus here. Nice, okay. At least we got the Magnus, even though we didn't get the Ezra. The Ezra still had Flask. He popped it, so... It was good. I can win this. I have my own Flask still. Yeah, I really wonder if I could do that, since... If I do ordain him in the middle of his ult... Ideally, he should get stunned out of it once he, if he does, keep on going through it. So, might have to test that out sometime. I was thinking his ult. I'm surprised he didn't just straight up ult. A lot of people are just like trying ult to engage. This Koshka needs to take the CP buff. I don't really need it. Oh, Koshka wants to go up there. That's where it's gone, anyways. It's nothing he could do really. Yeah, it's gone. You know, I, next to my name, like the level, the carry symbol, I don't even know what that's there. I don't think that was there before the update. Let's see, we can get this guy. He's overextended again. I actually think I can get this Magnus too. If he procs my pulse wave, let's see if he does. I'm watching out for the stun. I could block that off. Oh, can I get him? No, that didn't kill him. Let's see if I can attack him with that. Nice, I was able to get him. Yeah, the reason why he didn't attack me was because he was scared to park my pulse wave. Because if he did park my pulse wave, it would have slowed him down like all the way. And then I would have for sure been able to kill him. So that's why he didn't. He could have gone for the stun, but I was ready with my block. You can actually block a Magnus stun at point blank range pretty easily. You just gotta like watch his hands. Because they move in a certain motion whenever he does. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> he got Koshka ulted and hit by Emil. We can grab this. Okay, that's fine. We can't really dive him. Not with three of them there. Let's see if I can go behind him. Might be, might be able to get a good ult. Nice, okay. That was good. Oh, this Koshka wants more. Oh, there's no more minions. Why am I tanking? Oh, crap. I gotta get out of here. Gotta watch out for that. Okay, I'm good. Let's see if we can try and... Whoa, what is that guy doing? Oh, they got a kill. Wait, they surrendered? I didn't even see that. Okay, well, I guess... That's it for this match. This was a quick one, so we'll try another one. But yeah, these are the builds. And I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. In this match, we have another weird team comp. We have a guy who just wanted to play Leo for some reason. He really, really wanted to play Leo. He just picked out a new position. Honestly, we go support Leo, though. That's fine. Support Leo is not bad. It's pretty good. Because as long as you just build tank and then you run in there and you try and get a 5 main ult, that's really all you need from Leo. That's why tank Leo, like top and jungle are a thing. Just because your ult is so good. Yeah, we have a mid CP Lyra. <laughs> top Scarf Varia. Honestly, though, CP Lyra is a pretty good hero. It's just that your early game is so weak and it's so hard to, like, 
match up with the enemy in the lane phase, and then you get far behind, and then you can't get your items. But if you do reach late game, CPLR is like one of the strongest mid laners in my opinion. But it's just so hard getting there. Like, you just need so much help. But you can carry so many games with the CPLR. I've seen some really, really good ones. Well, this is Leo's letting me have the jungle. He's nice. Like, the Lara needs to be clearing the mini wave, not trying to focus a grace. They're gonna do no damage to a grace early. Yeah, um, as I was saying, this carry thing, like, the symbol next to my level, I don't think that was there before the update. It must be in the settings somewhere. I gotta turn it off. I don't know. That's weird, too, because this. <laughs> I forgot, Baptiste's categorized as a laner. I liked playing the jungle in this, though. Jungle and top are two favorites. You know, I'm gonna have to go and help this Vary out. <laughs> Saw versus Vary is definitely not a good matchup. There's really nothing Vary can do. Yo, the Vary's gotta chill. The talk is at his healer, so we can't like hard commit. We could just poke him out at least. Okay, we, we need a backup. Oh, talk is here. Talk is here. Run, Vary, run. No. Rip first blood. I guess I kind of baited. I mean, I pinged Var You could see Talk on the map, and I kind of pinged it too, so. I was assuming Varya would have looked there. I was thinking we could at least make Saul back up before Taka came, because he was taking the healer. Oh, I got him. Nice. He took a turret shot there. Kind of saved me. I saw my flash, so if, he does try if Taka does try and dive me, I should be fine. Oh, uh, he got away. He's lucky I didn't have more ordain up. If I had more ordain, he would have been dead for sure, because I could have just stunned him up in any turret. And then he would have took another turret shot or two. That would have been a free kill. Looks like the Leo's at least helping out the Lyra and Miz, that's good. The Lyra needs to be taking the CP buff though. Doesn't look like they are. Gonna have to wait for this to spawn. There we go. Okay, I have enough of my storm card now next time I shop, so that's good. Let's see what's going on in mid. Uh, can I get an ordain? I'm pretty sure that vision inside of there. He jumped away like the second I came. Uh, let's see. Oh, shop's not up yet. We might still be able to get him. I want to wait for him to... Where is he going? Is he going to the healer? No, healer's not up. That's not up. He must have recalled then. There's really nowhere else for him to go. Ooh, I can try and get this mid. Let's see if he uses his jump. Ooh, he just wasted it. I can kill him right here. Yeah, that was a mistake for him using his jump. Because once he uses it, he has nothing to escape. That's the only reason why he got away the first time was because he had vision. I mean, he could just jump right away. And yeah, we're going to lose that bot lane turret. <laughs> there's really, there's only so much a jungler can do here. This is honestly just a horrible team comp. Because I can't be in all three lanes at the same time. All three of my lanes are losing lanes. Like, Varya isn't going to beat a saw in bot lane. There's no way that's happening. Um, Our mid laner is just CP Lyra with no support. Versus the Grace and a Baron, which is kind of difficult. And I guess our Scarf can beat a Warhawk maybe, but that's still a difficult matchup. So yeah, like, I can't help all three of them at once. That's really a downside to a jungler. And then you're the one that gets pinged for not being everywhere. That was the one thing that, like, would frustrate me the most as a jungler. 
when all of your lanes are losing, all of them are pinging you to rotate, and when you don't rotate to one of the lanes, they just, like, start raging at you, but, like, you can't be everywhere at once. You gotta pick the right lanes. So, like, if our top laner was, like, a utility hero, I would just completely ignore top lane, because it doesn't really matter as much if a utility hero is starved. But since our top and bot laners are both CP gold-hungry heroes, they both need gold, and they both need to be winning their lanes. So it's just, this is a weird case. Let's see, we can maybe get the saw. Let's get him. No, wait, why'd you ult? Get him, kill him. Nice, okay, it worked out. That's fine. Varya should just dash on turn right away. He wasted too much time ulting. Ooh, thanks for that. I can go and take that. The Leo seems like he's decent, at least. Although he really is building weapon power, even though he has, like, no source of gold. Still seems to be a decent player. Okay. He got away. That's good. We should be able to win this. Never mind. We do not win this. That Floss kind of carried the talker there. Oh, looks like this guy wants me to rotate to top. <laughs> See what I mean? You're always the one that's gonna get pinged for not rotating, but like, can't be everywhere. We should be able to get him here. Nice, okay. Even if he would have flash, so I could have dived him. I still had boots in my own block and my own flash. So it would have been fine. It's like our bot laner's dead. It's like whichever lane I'm not in, that laner's always dying. There's not much I could do here. Oh, that's all still pushing in bot lane. I'm gonna have to try and help him out if he keeps on pushing. Oh, looks like he backed off. Ooh, where's he going? Is he coming this way? Can't tell. Oh, there he is. I should be able to kill him here. Look how much my A does, and I don't even have any damage items. Like, almost 500 damage. Yeah, without a stack, so I can easily 1v1 against him. Okay, I can grab my jungle now. I have enough for my pulse wave next to my shop. And I can work towards my shiver steel. I feel like, as I was saying, um, pairing Baptiste with other high CC heroes is really nice. Heroes like Finn, Catherine, works really well with them. Leo's another good one, too. Like, if Leo gets a good like three four man ult then i could just use my own ult and we could just chain them together and that's like a bunch of seconds that he can't do anything i want to try and dive this baron because leo does have ult uh, i don't think the leo wants to dive though and yeah i don't think he's into that right now can just go and grab their cp buff i guess oh somebody else is here Let's see. Oh, Grace is here. I'm, I'll be good. I'll be fine. See, now that I'm bot laner, top laner died. I was like in mid and bot for like a minute. That time our top laner dies. Oh, he just uses B ability. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, those beats saved him. If he didn't have boots there, we would have been able to kill him. Okay. Can try and rotate top. We should be able to catch this Warhawk out. I have no idea which way he's gonna go. Oh, let's talk us here. See if we can 1v1 him. Oh, dang. He's actually kind of I have my own flask and boots still. Oh, wow. I didn't even win that. Dang. Whoa, he's so fed. What the? He has 2,000 more gold than me. Jeez. Oh. I don't even know how he got so much gold. He must have been taking his laner's farm, I guess. I've been paying attention. Because there's no way you're getting 
that much gold that quickly as a jungler. That's one thing that I don't like about jungle, and that's why I don't play a lot of damage inside the jungle, because there's barely any gold inside of it. It's so hard to get fed. You have to get really lucky with bounties and kills. And it's kind of like a gamble, because if you can't get kills on the enemy, then you probably won't be able to get too fed just by farming your jungle. So that's why I prefer to play damage in lanes, and then just utility jungle. Okay, we can get this guy. We can get him. Oh, this grace. Oh, what was that lag? Oh, can the Vari help me? Yikes. This scarf should be able to clean him up. Grace used ult. I think we can kill the Grace too. I have my flask still. So I'll be good if they try and turn on to me. Yeah, the Varia was like one shot, so that's why I didn't commit. Yeah, that talk is gonna be a problem now. He's so fed. He has like over 2,000 more gold than me. He's just gonna like two shot our carries, because all of our, our entire team is just a team full of squishy heroes. You can easily destroy like any one of us. Our really only hope is to CC him up with like Leo ult and then if I can ordain him in ult. That's our best bet to kill him. Oh, that's not a good dive. Yeah, we can't dive this. With the Grace and a Baron that could just jump away, that's a bad ult. Oh wait, they got the saw. I guess that's what it was for. Wasn't paying attention to that. No, I'm just looking for war treads this match because I'm just gonna be looking for the extra health. I don't think I need the chargers yet. There, he's rotating mid. They gotta watch out. Yo, there's a talker here. Let's see if I can get the CP buff. Oh, he got his proc for Stormcrown. Nice. See what I mean? Our only chance is to CC him up. If I can get a good Ordain onto him, that's our best bet. Because Ordain is such a good counter to talk it. Really is. Yikes. Oh, we can get this Baron. Baron. No, don't focus the Grace. Oh, that got me. Nice, okay. Yeah, I'm worried about this talk. I have no idea where talk is. He might be rotating back. Because he just respawned. He's probably going for his backs. We gotta watch out. No, never mind. He's up in top lane. I was thinking he just respawned. He might have just gone to his back spawn, his blue buff. Since those were up. Yeah, those stalkers just getting even more fed. Honestly, I probably should have gone weapon power this match. I think if I would have gone weapon power, that might have been better. <laughs> I literally left mid for like, it's been like 15 seconds. Oh, we lost the turret. Dang. Yeah, I can't do anything here. I gotta back out. That's not gonna kill me. I have way too much health. I still have my flask in my block. Not too worried. Let's see if this Warhawk goes for me. Nope, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm like the only one with the decent and I go on our team. They need to watch out for this taco. Like, we have no vision of the taco. If the taco's inside one of these bushes, he could, like, two shot any of these carries. Yeah, he's right over here. He's right over here. Yo, leave. Yep, see what I mean? Like, 
I don't know why Varya was still there. Varya's like less than half health. At least we can get this. Oh, well, what? Come on. Wait, so this guy portaled me out and then just stood in the Warhawk ult and got himself killed? Oh gosh. Yeah, we just lost a mid for that too now. Uh, I guess Scarf can take that if he wants. My team should honestly start taking my jungle. I have my core items and really they need gold because they are doing an awful job of farming. Scarf should take this. I'd much rather feed the Scarf. Somebody take this at least. Scarf. Okay, I guess Avaria wants it. I'd much rather have a Scarf to be fed because if Scarf just ults, maybe he can carry a team fight. Okay, that is not. What? No, that is not how I wanted you to ult. <laughs> not ult a Grace and try and turret dive him. Okay. Well. Yo, we need a Liam. What is he doing? I'm not like even waste four treads on that. I don't know why he stayed. It was obvious Taco was still there. Let's see if he tries to dive me. If they dive me, I'll still be good. I have an ult in Ordain. Yeah, there's nothing we could really do to defend this turret. Ooh, let's see if we can get this Grace. No, we can't. Our entire team's still here. I see, like, this would be a good ult here. But now he doesn't have ult. Like, if he just had ult, boots, and then block, he could have just plowed right through him. And since Grace had already wasted everything, they really would have had nothing to live through it. Oh, they're on that. Yeah, there's not much we could do. Okay, at least we will take the grace. The grace ever extended, and again, playing around your pulse wave slow with these tank heroes are super important. Since that slowed the grace down all the way, so they really had no escape. Looks like we're finally getting kills. Nice shot. Now I'm gonna have to go bot for this Taka. Oh, wait, actually, we might be able to get the Taka here. Look at that cam there. Right when he uses his B, I can ordain him. Nah, a second. That's good. That's a shutdown too. And Varya got it. So at least now Varya has some gold. So I could like finish off the Dragon's Aggregate. Eva Far versus Broken Myth or something. Yeah, I don't even care who gets this. Just somebody take it. They need to get them souls fed. Because we just got some bounties there, so that's good. Again, they need to be careful though. They still have ghosting buffs so. Ooh, we can snag this. But yeah, when we're trying to go for this talk, it's most important to try and ordain him whenever he goes invis. Because that way he's trapped in there and he can't use the bonus movement speed from using his B, so. That's why I waited for him to use his B first. I knew the cam was there, so I'd be able to get him right as he went invis. Because if that cam wasn't there, the talker would have just been able to escape and there's nothing I could have done. Let's see. Oh, we gotta back up. This isn't good. We don't have vision of talker. And there is Taka. Okay, well without Leo, I guess like I'm our only frontliner or something. So yeah, it's hard for it to CC all of them. We're gonna have to try and defend this. I think we can though. Thank you. Scarf helped me out. Oh, somebody's on the CP. Oh, they dropped it. Oh, 
No, I can force out this grace. I should be able to. Oh. Nope, we gotta dip. We gotta dip. Taka's gonna rotate this way. Yeah, we just need to back off. No, don't walk that way. No, talk is there. Oh, great. They should have just recalled with me. I don't think I can save him. Yep. Oh, this talk is such an issue just because he got so fed early. And none of our carries really have enough damage yet. Yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get that black claw now. Uh, maybe I can go for a steal. No, I'll just try and go for it. I guess. Might as well. I think it's our only hope because right now it's a four v five and team isn't doing too much. Oh crap! They already got it. That was way too late. I should have just gone earlier. Try and go for the steal. Oh no! Let's talk us here. He does so much damage. I'm gonna have to ult him off. He's, gonna, he's just gonna try and X-Rat to me. Yeah, his breaking point though, that's the reason why he ramps up damage so quickly. And he builds stacks so fast too because he's so fed. Yeah, we gotta watch out. That. Nice. At least we're able to get one kill. See though, the Scarfall does do nice damage. And if I was there with them when he did ult, could have protected him a bit. Let's see if we can wrap behind the spear in. Oh, he just jumped in. Oh, this talk is here again. No, I'm gonna die. Save me. Dang. Oh, I didn't expect Talka to be there. Yeah, I think that's game. That is game. Well, that's uh, that's gonna be it for this match, and I have no idea what these builds are. Please do not build most of these. Definitely do not build two alternating currents on Varia. That is, I don't even think that works. I don't know. But yeah, these are the builds. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not. Share with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video.